Before the Big Bang or what happened before that event is a tricky question. Scientists have to be precise with language. If we define the Big Bang accurately as the moment when the universe was very hot and very dense, that's undeniable since we observe it when we look into the sky. Our best theory for how the universe reached that state is called inflation, suggesting there was a phase before that dense, hot universe we know as the Big Bang. However, this pre-Big Bang state has left scientists both astounded and unsettled. According to physicist Brian Cox, before the Big Bang, the universe was cold, empty, and expanding incredibly fast. This rapid expansion slowed, stopped, and the energy driving it was released into space, heating everything up and creating particles that eventually formed everything in our universe. That moment is what we call the Big Bang. But why did this prior state leave scientists so disturbed? Let's dig deeper. There's an advanced version of this inflation theory called eternal inflation. In this model, inflation doesn't just end, it continues indefinitely in some regions while stopping in others, creating countless big bangs in isolated pockets of the universe. Imagine the fabric of space stretching endlessly, pausing in certain patches to allow a big bang-like event to happen. Each of these patches becomes a universe of its own, and ours is merely one among countless others in this inflationary multiverse. The idea of absolute nothingness in the vast cosmos seems theoretical rather than real. Even if we removed all energy from the universe, it wouldn't truly be empty. Right now, the universe contains matter, radiation, antimatter, neutrinos, dark matter, and dark energy. If we were to strip all of that away, something would still persist. This phenomenon shows that the universe defies our concept of complete emptiness. Even with no particles or energy, expansion would continue, producing radiation. This peculiar property of the universe confounds scientists. It appears as though the universe cannot grasp our concept of true emptiness. But could the universe originate from nothing? It's unlikely, as something always persists. Even without particles, photons, or quanta, an empty space filled only with quantum fields remains. Fundamental constants and the laws of physics endure, with a finite, non-zero point energy present. This level of nothingness is the closest approximation we have to empty space. But beyond this state, envisioning an even more nothing-like condition lacks physical reality and defies scientific principles. Thus, while true emptiness does not exist, the reason why remains a mystery. The observable universe teems with stars, galaxies, cosmic rays, and radiation from both starlight and the remnant of the Big Bang. With advancements in observation, we might detect additional cosmic signals, including gravitational waves from moving masses, signals from dark matter, and perspectives on black holes. The universe we observe is dynamic, not static. With a fabric of space-time expanding, the universe doesn't only get larger, it grows colder. As light stretches to longer wavelengths, it shifts toward lower energy and cooler temperatures. In the past, the universe was hotter. In the future, it will grow colder still. This dynamic shift leads objects with mass or energy to cluster, forming a vast cosmic web. Remove all energy, and empty space itself would remain expanding under the laws of physics and influenced by quantum fields. This state is the closest we come to absolute nothingness, yet it still holds to specific physical principles. A physicist would note that taking away anything more would yield an unrealistically empty state no longer resembling the cosmos we know. This suggests that even in a universe devoid of matter, dark energy, and quantum fields, the zero-point energy of space could not truly reach zero. As the universe continues to expand and cool, a future awaits where radiation will outlast all forms of matter, with dark energy taking over as the dominant influence. Similarly, in the distant past, something other than matter or radiation held control during the inflation phase predating the hot Big Bang. At that time, the universe experienced rapid, relentless expansion driven by inflation field energy, similar to dark energy but exponentially stronger. In the 20th century, four key discoveries shaped our current understanding of the universe's origins. Alexander Friedman's work on general relativity demonstrated that a universe filled uniformly with matter and energy cannot remain static. 
Henrietta Leavitt's period luminosity relation allowed astronomers to measure the universe's scale. Vesto Slipher observed galaxies moving away from us, and Edwin Hubble identified stars in distant galaxies, confirming their vast distances. These insights combined to form the foundation of the theory of an expanding universe, with space stretching, matter thinning, and light cooling over time. By tracing this expansion backward, scientists realized the universe must have once been incredibly hot, dense, and small. This understanding forms the core of the Big Bang theory, the leading explanation for the early universe. Since the discovery of cosmic microwave background radiation in the 1960s, the Big Bang theory has been central to cosmology. However, unresolved issues, like the horizon problem, flatness, and the absence of ancient relics, prompted the development of Alan Goose's inflation theory in 1980. This theory proposed a phase of intense, rapid expansion where the universe's energy existed in space itself. Inflation explains the uniformity of the universe and prevented overly high energies that would have created remnants like magnetic monopoles. Inflation soon became an alternative to the traditional hot Big Bang model, suggesting the universe's cosmic structure stemmed from quantum fluctuations during inflation. These fluctuations shaped galaxies and stars, and predictions from the 1980s regarding cosmic structures were later confirmed through cosmic background radiation and large-scale structure data. This evidence lent significant weight to inflation as a realistic depiction of our early universe. Unlike a singular Big Bang, inflation suggested a rapid expansion preceding the hot Big Bang, challenging our understanding of the universe's beginning. Rewind far enough, and without inflation, we reach a singular point of infinite density and temperature. But with inflation, this singular origin is obscured, creating a continuous, fractal-like reality. Eternal inflation proposes that while inflation ceases in certain regions, creating new Big Bangs, it continues indefinitely elsewhere. Quantum fluctuations may allow this inflationary state to persist, expanding into an ever-growing cosmic landscape. Certain areas where inflation ceases result in a hot Big Bang, but these regions are far fewer than those where inflation persists indefinitely. Notably, no two separate regions with Big Bangs will ever overlap, as the expanding universe drives them apart. Despite its appeal, eternal inflation has limitations. It is eternal only into the future, not into the past. It has been demonstrated that inflationary space-time does not extend infinitely into the past and must have originated from a prior non-inflationary, possibly singular state. The issue of past-time-like incompleteness cannot be avoided by considering alternatives like bouncing or cyclic cosmologies, as they face similar challenges. However, this does not necessarily imply the universe originated from a singularity. While it could have, it's not a strict necessity. For example, one could envision a space-time resembling the past, where inflation takes place, by modeling the universe's expansion rate through a scale factor composed of a growing exponential plus a constant, rather than just a pure growing exponential. In essence, the hot Big Bang, while our most accurate model of the early universe, wasn't its absolute genesis. There is a limit to how far back we can trace the temperature and density of the matter and radiation-filled universe. Prior to the hot Big Bang, there existed a period of cosmic inflation, which initiated and led to the hot Big Bang. During inflation, space was saturated with energy, devoid of matter and radiation, and expanded exponentially. However, inflation couldn't have persisted indefinitely and must have emerged from some pre-existing, non-inflationary state. Unfortunately, our knowledge of this earlier state is limited. Aside from knowing many things it couldn't have been, we don't live in a universe where matter drifts in empty space. We live in a universe filled with energy fields that interact to form everything we see. This vastness of emptiness, endless void, and the interplay of mortality provoke fear and fascination, driving scientists to question and uncover its mysteries. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Insane of Curiosity. Like and share the video with your friends and family members. Thank you very much for watching and supporting me. See you soon in the next video.